casual instrumental nice <laughs> Okay, okay, so this is now episode three. There's been episode one, episode two. I've done episode one on my BlackBerry microphone. I've done episode two on the Snowball microphone. So for this episode, I'm actually doing on the Lume microphone. So it'll be interesting to see how this turns out. So let's place this guy down and see how he does. Okay. Is the microphone gonna fall off? No, I hope not. Let's see if this thing will go. Oh yes, I should also mention that this time I'm actually in a different room. For the last two episodes I was in my bedroom, of course, but this time I'm actually doing it in the bathroom. So it should be interesting to see how the acoustics will fare in this type of environment. And of course, with a different microphone. So let's go. <laughs> Or does it sound more nasal? I don't know. I'm here fidgeting in the background with another phone and trying to get in time. So I just kept it open. That was kind of silly, but whatever. <laughs> Basically just twist it over there, trying to blow with one hand and then trying to up the phone with another. But now I have both hands on the instrument, so let's go! <laughs> Oh, it's the fingers. I hate it when that happens when you're going from C4 to C sharp 4 and you just slip like that. Well, quadrants will know what I'm talking about. Well, those who are playing the C instruments, of course, because if you are playing an F instrument or if you've ever played one in F, then, you know, if it's, it's probably going to be like F sharp, I believe. Yeah, it'll, it'll be F sharp for you for that other lower key. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> I think for once during one of these sessions I actually played it with no airs. Not that, again, like I said before, I obviously know how to play, but for some reason I always just slip up or just do something dumb and the intonation will just go off. I don't know why, but it, it just happens. It happens. So, I do have some sheet music here, but I don't know if I'm going to be focusing on that as much as I did episode two. Well, actually, no, in episode two, I think my main focus was, yeah, simply that, playing sheet music. But I was also singing into the instrument, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I was talking about something like this. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. start oh gosh why should i keep track of the time because now i don't want this being too long and i don't want this being too short so that's not good not good okay well yes i'll just actually hold on a second i think what i could do is simply just open up a clock app here where is it yes here it is clock and it's going to show me the timer of course where we have a world clock here 
Yeah, it's like a roll clock here. Okay, now you start fiddling one. You're not here for this. You're not here for this. You're here to hear me play. So, let's play some thirds. Well, thirds according to this sheet. So, let's see how that goes. <laughs> It could have been a little better for that, those last couple of notes. Okay, obviously you can tell there are some seriously wrong notes in that, but continuing. Oh my goodness, this thing sounds so stuffed. Okay, well that makes it sound a little bit better. I don't know, we'll see. It still sounds pretty stuffed. What am I going to do, guys? What am I going to do? Okay, I'll see if I can uh, roll up my shirt here, push it into this first drain the instrument, blow it, so hopefully it doesn't make an obnoxious sound. No, I don't think that's how you do it. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was kind of fearing. Kind of had my mouth over that vent so that it wouldn't come out too bad. But anyway, I think we got this now. We got this, we got this. We can keep going. Okay, I really don't like how stuffed this thing sounds. Like, I don't know why it's trying to be a chore right now. Like, why? Why now? Why, man? Why? 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 Why now? Why now? Okay, I probably shouldn't do it again. I did that in the last episode where I was singing about how annoyed I was with how stuffed this thing was. So now, I mean, it just sounds ridiculous. Like, ugh. Goodness. Actually, honestly, I think I saw a guy doing another trick. It's where you stick your finger in that hole and you blow. Okay, let's do it one more time. All right, so there we go. Let's test it with C4, D4, E4, E4, G4, E4, F4, C5, C6, D6, uh, D5. Okay. Okay, that would probably come up very, very bad on your end, so I don't know. I mean, like, I was about a good 30 centimeters away from the microphone, and that note sounded very soft and muffled, so only editing time will tell me if it's going to sound good to you, the viewer, or not. So instead of doing the rest of these thirds, I guess I'll do something probably more exciting, like, I don't know. We got to shuffle through these sheets here, check the time on them at it. Uh, okay, let's see, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, happy birthday. Why don't I play that just for fun and giggles? 
Because who knows? Maybe today is your birthday. Today is the 7th of March. Anybody born on the 7th of March? I personally don't know anybody in my family born on the 7th of March. Actually, do I even have any family members born in March? On this date? No, I don't think so. I, I can't, can't recall anybody. So. Okay, I hope that doesn't get too annoying, but it's what you have to do. Oh my gosh, I fail already. <laughs> Thank goodness I didn't have to do that live, well as in live, as in like, you know, in front of a bunch of people and like recording this live whenever, well of course this is a so-called live session, but it's not actually live in the way that like I'm streaming it or I'm actually performing on stage, why do I call it live? Because there is just very little to no editing, so that's, I guess, what makes it more lifelike. Now, let's pull Happy Birthday down. Time once more. I'll probably go for another three more minutes before I just sign off. So let's see, what do we got? What do we got in this pile of heal? You know, I'm not going to have the heal again because I did it last time and that has turned out to be an interesting but awkward event, so I will probably stay away from that. Um, let's see, what do I have here? Oh, there's Autumn. Should I attempt Autumn? Yes, I think I probably should attempt Autumn. It has two pieces, so, or I should say like two sheets. I know that's going to go. I might have to shuffle a little bit while I'm playing. Actually, what I could do is just divide this median I have here. I have this sit up here. Of course, you can't see what I'm doing because this is audio only. Now you might be wondering, will I ever do a video? I don't know. For now, it's just audio only. I'm not, gonna say, I'm not saying it's going to be like that forever. I'm not. Because maybe at some point in the future, there will be video. But for now... Audio only. And yes, if you haven't been following the entries of the other episodes, it's not only going to be the Fipple Flute, aka the Tender Recorder, at some point in the future, who knows, it might be the Barrett, no, not the Barrett, oh gosh, the bass saxophone, the viola, the violoncello de spala, uh, the euphonium, hell, maybe even a Cerberhar, you never know. Anyways, awesome, here we go. Actually, are there any sharps in this key signature? Yes, there is. This was originally written for the violin, but hey, because. The tenor recorder and violin are both non-transposing instruments. They can play the same music as long as, I don't know, it doesn't go out of its range. So, we're good. Or if there's any techniques strictly pertaining to violin, like say pizzicato or something like this. Obviously, if that's the case, or if it's like has um, chords or something like that, or they're playing two notes at the same time, then that's not really possible for woodwind instruments, because they can only play one note at a time. Anyways, let's go. <laughs> Uh, how do you play this again? It's been such a long time since I played this. I think this way is like back in grade 9, but that was years ago! Okay. Should I sing more? Actually, no, you probably do not want to hear me sing. You don't. Come on, I was doing so good. Should I start again? Oh my goodness. This is so bad. Oh well, it's live. Let's go.
Okay, I'm not even trying right there. This thing is just becoming so stuffed and I have not played this piece from like way or when. So I know, I know, I know. I'm making excuses here. But you know what? This is just this. This is just yeah, as it is. There was no practice. I know you're saying, son, get better with your sight reading or something. Yeah, you're right. I probably should get better with that. But oh well. And at this point, I probably should sign off. Like, I mean, if I really want to, I could obviously do a much better version of this where it'll just be me playing the piece properly, not just live, so it can sound better. There are better videos, so don't worry about this one sounding horrendously bad and me butchering a piece and just treating it like a joke. And now I feel like it's been way over 10 minutes, so comment, rate, like, subscribe, share, read my blogs for free, and visit my Twitter page for my latest tweets. Now, I am out.